Hello and welcome to Tea Time with Ghost, a show where I drink tea and talk about my opinions even though nobody asks for them. I'm your host Ghost and today we'll be talking about the flaws of Disney, DC, and Marvel because honestly, what are they doing? <laughs> Disney has been making some bad decisions, really bad decisions in some cases, like the newest Disney princess movie Wish. At first I was excited but then I began to see more and more trailers and the disappointment slowly got worse and worse. First, I had a bad taste in my mouth due to the fact the art style looked well unfinished, but Disney quickly said it was YouTube who made the quality worse and re-uploaded it. And yeah, it was true it looked better the second time, but something about the art style still seemed super off. It seemed less polished than the other movies. Compared to some of my favorite Disney movies, this looks unfinished. There's no shine to the movie, it just looks really flat, I guess. And yes, Disney has stated they're trying a new art style. If you like it, that's fine. But it shouldn't be looking so unfinished. If I didn't know, I would think this is something that just started development a few months ago, and Disney is just showing us a sneak peek. Not that this is a finished movie ready to be out in theaters. It feels off watching it, and you shouldn't feel that when watching a movie. Not only the art style, but the music sucks too. Everyone is talking about the Let you live it for free and I don't even charge you rent. song, which I will get to, but the song The Wish bothers me so much. The vocals are beautiful, don't get me wrong, this girl can sing, but the flow of the song, it doesn't sound right. <laughs> That in itself sounds off. It goes from a smooth to a bunch of words mashed together ruining the flow. And it's not even just these lyrics. Parts of the song don't sound musical enough and if that makes sense. You can make talking in songs work. I've seen it happen. But this to me just sounds so off. And with the This is the Thanks I Guess song, oh my god, listening to the gun down makes me want to rip my ears off and throw it into a game blender, but honestly, the printer probably wants to blend itself hearing this as well. Okay, maybe that was a bit dramatic, but <laughs> you can tell they tried to copy Lin Manuel Miranda and they were too cheap to actually get him on to write the songs, so they failed. Horribly. Honestly, the beginning of the song was fine, the rest just wasn't pleasing at all, especially when it began into the Side note, he said the same thing twice. It sounded like they just cut into that part of the song instead of smoothly transitioning into it. Maybe it sounds that way because I heard that line so much, but honestly, it's kind of horrible. Honestly, Lin could do so much better. His songs are amazing. How did you mess up this badly? Whenever he attempts at singing, it falls flat and doesn't sound smooth. He does one singing line, then goes back to talking about the rhythm. Like, if they removed the song and made it a conversation instead, it may have been better. Nothing about this song screams, ooh, I'm a spooky villain who's gonna be a threat later. More like, I'm a goofy villain that isn't that serious. Even when he's supposed to be threatening, it seems more funny than, ooh, I'm a threat that's gonna be an issue for our main character later. And and honestly, that's been happening with Marvel too. And since Disney owns Marvel, it's no surprise. I haven't watched many Marvel stuff after Endgame because it all just looked and seemed boring. I did watch Hawkeye and yeah, it was fine, I guess. It wasn't anything memorable other than Natasha's sister, who was really cool. Nothing of Marvel's feels as groundbreaking and interesting as Endgame. And a lot of fan favorites are dead, their story is done, and they're now watered down versions of themselves. Or they're now just retired, which all suck. Leaving characters who aren't as lovable, new characters who are attempting and failing to replace the old ones, and the last of the originals. Honestly, the only thing I look forward to now is anything Spider-Man related. Into and Across the Spider-Verse have been amazing, I love Tom Holland's Spider-Man, and I've heard good things about the Spider-Man game, and the old Spidey game that I actually owned wasn't too bad and fun to play. I think Marvel can still save themselves somehow. I heard they're considering bringing back Iron Man and Captain America, which if done right can be awesome, and MCU fans will get a taste of what comic book fans have dealt with. I'm pretty concerned about the future of any other movie movies or shows before Tony and Steve come back though, cause like, what is this? <laughs> Again, with the goofy villain thing, if I wanted to watch a kid's show, I would have. Actually, no, even children's shows and movies have better villains than this. Look at any older Disney movie. Hans was the best villain in my opinion. When I was little watching this, I was flabbergasted, cause child me would have never expected him to be a villain, especially since my favorite song was Love of an Open Door. I was heartbroken. Mother Gothel from Tangled is also amazing, and Taka from Moana, who ended up not even being a villain, was amazing as well, and I'm pretty sure she didn't even talk. Hawk Moth from Miraculous Ladybug is better than this, and those are all movies and shows targeted to kids. And Marvel can even put some effort into making him even look threatening. What? 
what is this? Like, it's so stupid. It's funny. Even the Lego Batman movie, who is often just a joke movie, I personally haven't watched it, but I've seen clips on TikTok, and it seems better than any recent MCU project and Wish combined. I'm being a bit harsh on Marvel when it did make some good movies, like the newest Black Panther which in my opinion wasn't bad, and I've also heard Guardians of the Galaxy was pretty good as well, but then there's stuff like this and it just makes me think why. <laughs> Cause you made so many good things in the past, so many good movies, so many good everything, so what are you doing now? I can't really fully speak on Marvel's situation cause I'm more of a DC fan, so let's move on to that. The DC live action movies have been an absolute mess and what gets me the most angry is the Flash movie. I couldn't get through the whole movie because the fact Ezra Miller it was the one playing the Flash made my skin crawl, so I won't criticize anything other than what I watched, which was a few minutes into the beginning. It felt cringy. The scene where he was saving everyone felt like it took forever and was so boring, ironic because he's supposed to be the Flash. The microwave baby scene was so, what the frick? <laughs> That's all it was, what the frick, I can't describe it any other way. <laughs> it was my favorite scene because at this point it was funny. My mind was so brain dead after watching the first few boring minutes, the screaming and the flash doing this was funny. I kind of blacked out watching the rest but I remember cringing at the Wonder Woman lasso scene where Batman and the flash were tied up with Wonder Woman's lasso. I think I stopped watching around that point. I could be very biased due to the fact I know Ezra Miller is a horrible human being and honestly I think needs way more than a little help. It just disgusted me how they're putting a person who I think kidnapped a child and thinks they're God and was swinging a gun around in a movie and tried to justify it. I'm not going to get into everything they have done, but why are you putting this person who is obviously not okay on big screens? The CW Flash, who I'll admit, despite it being one of my favorite shows, has poor writing at times, but even that was good. Grant Gustin was good, and now will forever be a standard for what we need as the Flash until we get something better, and you gave us this mess. You should have been able to do better, and I know you can because of these two amazing movies right here. From what I heard, this movie sucked. Moving on. The other DCEU movies were just a bit of a blur. I watched most of them back to back, and all I remember was boredom. Ooh, Aquaman is cool. Haha, <laughs> Freddy, Bruce Wayne, I'm rich. I'm rich. The only moments that stood out was Aquaman because I thought he looked cool, and that one slight chuckle they got out of me during Bruce Wayne's I'm Rich thing which I thought was a bit funny. I didn't hate all the movies, none just really stood out to me. What did stand out was the Batman 2022 movie which oh my god I'm in love with. Zoe Kravitz and Robert Pattinson did such an amazing job and if I ever get to meet any of them I'll die happily. Cause oh my god do you see this movie? Do you see this movie right here? Mwah. It's, a per it's perfect. It's perfect. Like oh my god. Do you see this movie? Emo Bruce Wayne. Like <laughs> This isn't the playboy we know and love. This is an anti-social, awkward, depressed guy who dresses as a bat every night and I'm loving it. I love it so much. Oh my god. Best live action DC movie I've ever watched other than The Dark Knight. It's mwah, perfect, okay? Perfect. But sadly, that's the- <laughs> Like, oh my god, it is so amazing. I just can't- I would not like, talk about this all day. Sadly, that's all the good things I can say about DC right now. I don't read comics that much, I'm planning on doing so, but I just haven't yet. So the next best thing for me would be games because I'm a gamer, right? Wrong. <laughs> I'm so concerned for the future of DC outside the Joker and the Batman 2022 movie. Once those are over, what are they going to do? The newest Arkham game has so many flaws like the fact it's a Wi-Fi only game. This means it runs on an online server that can be shut down. And this Arkham game is the last voice work of Kevin Conroy who voices Batman who has also sadly passed away. Once the servers inevitably get shut down, no people will ever be able to play or see this game again outside of YouTube videos. Which honestly really sucks. I don't know why they had to do this. They I don't think there was a reasonable reason, like what? Why would you do this? There could be an online mode for a multiplayer and an offline mode with no Wi-Fi needed for a single player like most games have. Injustice for example, a fellow DC game. When the servers do close, I'll still be able to play by myself, against bots, or with friends as long as we play on the same device. But with Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, I won't be able to do that. One day they will shut down and it will be gone forever outside of YouTube videos or any online videos, which kinda sucks. 
I'm pretty sure no other Arkham games are like this, so what is DC doing? Why are you making this mess? At least the animated movies and shows are good. I love anything regarding the Titans and John Constantine. All the CW shows have ended in being cancelled sadly, and recently all the live action stuff has been bland. So what can these companies do to fix this mess? I think the number one thing is listen to your fans. DC, your fans have wanted a Superman game for so long, but every time someone brings up the idea, it gets shut down. I'm pretty sure the Ar the recent Arkham game that's gonna come out was supposed to be a Superman game, but DC didn't want that. Disney, your fans have been wanting an old school 2D movie like Snow White, but instead you tried to mix 3D and 2D and it ain't working for you. Like, don't do that ever again. And Marvel, I don't know what to say to you. <laughs> Again, I'm not the biggest Marvel fan, but I feel like it's been a mess and the movies are really hit or miss, so yeah. If you want some good content made by people who actually listen to their fans, watch stuff made by indie creators. They actually listen and will answer because they care unlike big companies who clearly don't care and just want money. Even if the faces behind the company we don't see, like animators, voice actors, and writers are passionate, the people in suits at the top aren't and will never be. <laughs> they want money and they want it now, while indie developers in my opinion obviously care. Go watch the amazing digital circus pilot, go play Undertale, look up a list of indie games or shows or anything you're interested in and you'll find something good. Better than what these companies are spitting out. <laughs> it's good to support indie developers more than evil companies like Disney who do horrible things. More of the story, Disney is dumb. Hi, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my first video. <laughs> I actually made videos before, but um, not like this. I've I've only made videos for four years, but none of them really involved my voice. I just made weird gotcha videos or Roblox and even edits at some point, but it didn't really feel right anymore, so I decided to do something new. Growing up, I always watched creators like Jaden Animations and The Odd Ones Out, and I always wanted to do videos with me talking about whatever I like and showing off my art. I'm actually a beginner artist, and I always wanted to draw, but I never did. So in September, I was like, I don't care. I'm going to learn digital art, so I did. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll get to the point of creating animations, but till then, you're just going to get this little ghost on your screen. <laughs> I, I can't wait to see how this goes. I'm looking forward to making more content in the near future. I hope you all enjoyed this video and enjoyed this little rant about all this, and I hope you all... <laughs> I can't speak. And I hope you all have a miraculous day and stay determined. Ghost out.